Well, GB News bedding in nicely now. And of course, they've had some production issues, but it certainly rattled the media establishment and not before time. But of course, this isn't about what the commentariat think, if they want to sneer or whatever in terms of GB News success. Ultimately, that is down to whether or not they can build that audience of people to watch the show and deliver the type of content that people are interested in in terms of that alternative to the left-wing woke BBC. And some really encouraging signs already that you may not be hearing too much about elsewhere. By the way, do let me know in the comments below as ever what you are making of GB News. Really keen to hear your feedback so far. But Andrew Neil, of course, the chairman of GB News with a uh, big show at 8pm, uh, revealing that last night there were great figures on GB News in terms of those viewing figures, saying that the Andrew Neil show last night was the number one in the time slot again, three times the audience of Sky News, 26% more than BBC News Channel, and we've only just begun. Of course, as you'll notice with uh, Brexit, you know, there'll be naysayers out there who no matter what happens, no matter how well GB News do, there'll be some people out there that are just mad keen on being negative. So, of course, they're taking pot shots. But look, I think that is a significant achievement, establishing that show as a key part of the GB News offering. And in terms of the feedback from Andrew Neil putting that bit of info out today, Christina Jordan saying, that boycott is working so well, isn't it? Well done, GB News. The Conservative group leader in the Welsh Parliament, Andrew R.T. Davies, also commenting, saying, keep it up, guys. Variety is exactly what we need. Also got a comment here from Monty Panazar, saying, congratulations for a great start. Figures will go up when there is a Monty show. Fancy a bit of that? Uh, and Alex Morgan saying as well that the tech glitches might have made the launch an object of fun for many, but if peak time can hold three times the viewers of Sky News, then GB News will be here to stay. So as I said, it's early days, but encouraging signs for GB News. As I said, there was a lot of uh, anticipation and excitement I know from you guys about it. So I am keen to hear from you in terms of if you think uh, that the show, that the channel has delivered. Do let me know below. I think that's uh, an exciting start, a good start, a solid start for GB News. They just need to keep focusing, I think, on being that alternative, on being different from the likes of the BBC. As ever, guys, if you enjoyed this video, do give it a quick thumbs up. Make sure you hit the join button. See the link in the top pinned comment if you want to support my channel and become a member. I would really appreciate it. And of course, as ever, thanks for watching.